Hey guys, you guys have been waiting a long time for this, but I finally had the time and finally finished what I wanted. And now I present to you my current ceiling fan display. There's all the light kits. There are currently 27 ceiling fans currently hanging on my display. I've shot videos of all the fans individually. Fire up these old lights here. And I think it's time to finally see them all together. So, without further ado, let's get started. So obviously the, one of the first fans I'll go to here is the Hampton Bay Metareed. I'm just gonna go through, just gonna do one speed at a time for these fans so you can see them all in different speeds. So this is one I got as a pair. I got a second one. Uh, they came out of a hair salon. Lady bought them brand new, one of them installed there. But I guess uh, after a short while she had to close or something. So, and she decided to sell these two to me. So yeah, of the two fans, this was the better of the two. The bearings were much better. All right, Allen and Roth Lara Lynn ceiling fan. Another more recent one. I bought this at a restore because I mistaked it for a Monte Carlo Mini. <laughs> so yeah. Still a cool little fan though and definitely performs well. All right, um, we'll do these industrials here. So first one obviously here is a Dayton. It's a little 36 inch Dayton. And the other one is a much bigger can arm. CP56 FR, something like that. I have them both on the same control here, so I'll start it on low. Put it down here so you can see them better. I've had all the fans running prior to the video just to help loosen them up, warm them up a bit after a few months of being off and unplugged. So hopefully we'll get a good spin down time out of all of them. So yeah, um, I got that Dayton brand new in the box. I can't remember how or why though. <laughs> and the can arm I got off uh, Craigslist. Guy had two of them and I bought one of them. All right, um, what to do? We'll go this way. All right, so this is a Casablanca Delta II. Um, I made a video about this and said what the date was. So let's get it going. This was a restore find with Wii Fire. He picked out a, a House Beautiful ceiling, branded ceiling fan. As he was turning away and getting that, I happened to look up on the display they have there. And this, lo and behold, this was at the top. So yeah, since I saw it first, I bought it. Because <laughs> I was kind of bummed not getting that little uh, House Beautiful fan, which is basically just a Lasco. The bearings on this Delta are shot though. So the spin down won't be as good as it should be. All right, this one's right in my face. We'll do it next. It's a little Kmart 42 inch spinner branded by Encon. Probably originally started out as an Encon anyway. Um, yeah, this was a restore find, if I remember right. I bought this just before going off to college. I had it hanging on my display, but I never filmed it until recently. And to be honest, I can't remember if I actually filmed it or uploaded that video or not. So, if that's the case, this is the first time I've filmed it in near two years since I've owned it. So, whoops. It came on a super long down rod like that other Kmart fan with the swirl vents. All right. Kodep Stratosphere Hugger Ceiling Fan. This one has been hanging here a while now. This was another restore find. This one was new in box. There's the uh, medallion. This one's cool because it has light indicators for the speed. So high, medium, low. If you're not a ceiling fan collector, I can see how that would be helpful. It would just be a matter of remembering what light meant what. But for ceiling fan collectors, it's more of a novelty than anything. <laughs> a 
one of these bulbs doesn't match the other. I thought they were the same, but one has a delay compared to the other three. Yeah, or excuse me, one is faster than the other three. But it's all right. <clears throat> um, okay, what to do next? We'll do this big fella. This is a Fanimation Ascension industrial ceiling fan. It's an industrial with a ball and socket canopy. I have it on a Minka Air 4 speed control. So we'll do it to speed four. Come on, camera. My camera's not behaving tonight. Works very well on that four speed control. It gives it a good, diverse set of speeds. This was a new in-box fan. Oh boy, I can't remember where I found this one. I think it was through some liquidation thing. Yeah, I've been looking I've been looking to get my hands on one of these beasts for a while now. But I haven't even seen too many people video these things. I think it's mostly just like Dan Spiffy Newman who I've seen film these. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive fan, I have to say that. Especially, even if it is just an industrial, it's a pretty powerful fan. All right, um, we'll do this one next. This is the Caribbean Breeze. It's been hanging here ever since day one, it's almost. <laughs> On the canopy, it says Sunbeam. On the control, it says Ocean Breeze. I did that because this yellow sticker was over that Sunbeam one on the canopy. So, yeah, I wanted to do that so you could see both of labels. I thought that was kind of cool. This was one of the fans that that Skylar Strickland guy was selling. As soon as he announced that on that video, those number of years ago, I immediately reached out and asked for a brown 36-inch one. I specifically wanted the brown one because you don't see it as often as the white one. Well, I don't. And I just love this fan. I just love it too much to take it down. <laughs> so that's why it's currently has the record of being the longest fan hanging on the display. It's not the original spot. It used to be right here, kind of where the coat up is. But I wanted to move it over here so the breeze would be more effective. All right, so moving on. Gonna wave around the motorcycle here. All right, Hunter 36 inch original. This is one of the fans I've been hunting for for the longest time. And uh, this particular one's a Robbins and Myers edition. I'll let you guys figure out the date. I can't remember how to date these. It's probably really simple. So this one does have a canopy, but uh, let me go get that real quick. It's this kind though, the sloped ceiling one. So yeah. I just have it hanging like that because obviously the ceiling in here is not sloped. So here we go. It's only a two speed fan, by the way. Quite a powerful little fan too. I like these more than the 52 inch originals. Very fast, low speed though. All right, um, oh yeah, I can't remember where I got this. Oh yeah, this I think this was an eBay one. Okay, uh, next up, up is the Golden Fan. Another fan I've had a long time. This is another fan I love. And although this one has left the display a, a, a couple times, I managed to find a spot to bring it back permanently. Although I am kind of concerned about how hot the motor gets. The current draw may be higher than it should be. So I may replace this eventually just because I don't want it to burn out and then be completely useless. So far so good though. And I have it on this can arm control only because it will not like any other three or four speed controller I have. It stalls out on almost every single one. And I obviously don't have the original one. I don't even know what this thing would use. I think originally this was called the Moss Tropical Breeze. There's the logo. Golden Electric Manufacturing Company. All right, 
Next up is this beautiful little thing, an Encon 30 inch princess. This is another one I've been hunting for a long time. You don't see these too often. I've never seen these installed outside of like a fan collector's house. The only one I really know well was Wee Fires, where he has it in his fan shed. I hear the I hear the buzz from so many motors right now. Yeah, this one I put a little fluorescent bulb in it because I thought it looked kind of cool. All right, what to do next? We'll do this one. This one's made by Madison Avenue. It's a Flintstone themed ceiling fan. This other pull chain is the reverse switch. This one I bought with my dad and my for my dad as a fan above his workbench here because um, he loves the Flintstones. And I knew this fan would be perfect for him. It's an all right fan. It's a cheap fan, but I mostly bought it just because of the design. <laughs> Since I'm right here, Hampton Bay Minuet 2, another one of my older ones. This one had the three fitter light kit, if you remember that video all those years ago. I removed it because it belongs on a landmark, not a minuet. <laughs> There's a certain fan intruding into here. Let me move that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I got this one at my restore because at the time I loved the minuet too. Not that I don't love it now. Uh, but I've always loved the Minuet too. growing up with a little white one in my grandmother's house. I filmed it a couple different times. Yeah, this one works well. Bearings are a little, uh, could, are a little worse for wear, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. All right, the three Heritage Alliance Huggers. First, the white one. I got all three of these new in box. I think I got the white and the brass one from the same seller. And then the rainbow one I got a little later because it's a harder one to find for obvious reasons. <laughs> That's high, you dingus. <laughs> I did the pull chains backwards and that threw me off. And yeah, it's fine. This one is probably in the worst shape of the three. The bearings are very stiff on it. And... I've let it run a bunch of times, but I think the bearings are just trash. I shouldn't be surprised it is a heritage after all. <laughs> Not renowned for their quality. Anyway, here's the brass model. Do it right this time. <laughs> this one has like a tapping to it. I'm not sure what that is. It's not any loose wires. I think the bearings are just rattling on it. It's kind of strange. I do like the brass one the most. There's uh, an older couple I know from my church where years ago we were at their house for like a picnic and when they were showing us around the inside of their house, they had this one room where they had two of these install dual installed in this long closet, or excuse me, I wanna say a closet, but it was more of an office. Kind of like a walk-in closet, I dare say. It was a really cool install and that kind of did it for me where I really liked these little brass huggers. Ooh, you can kind of hear it already. It's not the globe either. That's tight. And the last but not least, probably the most famous and desired heritage hugger, the rainbow hugger. I have two rainbow huggers. The other one is a Walmart one, a home trends one. Yeah. Oh, geez. The housing is still up on my refrigerator. <laughs> you may have seen it when I was showing the other fans earlier in this video. That yellow blade sticks out like a sore thumb, but I hung, I wanted these three together because I wanted each finish of the Heritage 30 inch hugger together. So I thought that would be pretty cool. This one probably is the best of the three. It has the best spin down and I think the speed is the fastest speed wise. These are pretty close, but I think, I don't know if it's just the lighting or, but the white one looks faster than the brass. All right, now hugger that's a little beefier. This big fella here is a big CEC or CEI cast hugger. The motor inside is cast iron and it is huge. This one came from Wee Fire. Let me try to get out of this spot here. Yeah, this one was in Wee Fire's collection. He was getting rid of it, so I took it off his hands for him. 
This is definitely a unique hugger. Oh yeah, and I think I got that uh, rainbow hugger off of Marketplace, yeah. These other two came from eBay. Believe it or not, you can find cheap you can find cheap fans on eBay. <laughs> it just takes a lot of patience. <laughs> all right, so that's all that. Now for possibly the star of the fan display, the Hunter 1886 series fan. This beautiful fan was cast or was designed after one of the original hunters. I think it was like the Turk or something like that. But it's definitely the most unique fan in the display and possibly one of the best in terms of just design and function. Performance, there's at least three fans in the display that I'll do it, though. I think that would be like the Dayton, the Second Century, and ooh, I would say the Delta Two. I would say this is better than the Lady Delta only because it spreads the air better. The Lady Delta is a, a hurricane straight down. It is a stronger direct breeze. I haven't seen these in person. Oh wait, maybe I have. I'm not sure uh, actually, but I found this one on Marketplace. I wasn't gonna get it because he had it really expensive, but then he for whatever reason cut the price by like 50, 70%. So I guess he really wanted it gone. So I lucked out and got this. <laughs> um, we'll do this one, follow it up with the other hunter. Hunter Second Century Original, another marketplace find. This one was basically brand new, but it didn't come in a box. Um, yeah. He bought it, but he never ended up using it for some reason, so he just sold it to me. This is basically a prettier Hunter Original. It has the exact same function. It functions exactly the same as an original. You have to put oil on the top. And it performs about as well as a Hunter original. <laughs> it just looks prettier, in my opinion. Those gloss blades are gorgeous on the brass, too. All right, um, now change of pace. <laughs> Hampton Bay Grayton, the Grayton one, with the old Hampton Bay logo on it. Now, I can't remember if this one was an SMC one or not. I don't think it is. This is a new in box fan marketplace. That's kind of the case with most of most of these fans. This one I got because I wanted to replace my Grayton two, which I had to get rid of. Oh, excuse, I say get rid of. That actually ended up going back to Wee Fire. He let me borrow it for a time, but then I returned it to him. But I still wanted a Grayton, and then I happened to find this one, the original one, and I knew I couldn't pass this one up. Um, let's see here. Okay, we'll do this one. Casablanca Lady Delta. This is the most redneck fan in the collection. <laughs> no globes, and it has this huge work light bulb I wanted to put in it just because I want an excuse to use it. It's like 500 watts. <laughs> Burns your retinas out. This one I got from another collector. Just because I wanted a Lady Delta that was past the year re the recall years. And I mean, I guess for the Lady Delta, the recall with the Hangshow wouldn't be as much of a problem. Just because it's not as heavy as other Casablancas. Like the Delta II, you'll note I the ball and socket. The ball is a little further into it versus this. That's because that has a recall clip on in it right now. I I know some people say it's a hoax, but I'd rather t I'm not gonna take my chances. <laughs> All right, Minka Air Supra. I think this one's been hanging on display. One of, this is one of the longer fans hanging on the display. I haven't found anything good to replace it with, and honestly, I've been kind of lazy and kind of forgot this was here. I got this one new in box. I got a bunch of Minkas at the time. I got the uh, cool the 52 inch fan or 56 yeah 52 inch. And then the Supra, I thought I got another fan, but I'm not sure if it was a Minka. 
But yeah, this one's been hanging here for over a year now, probably two years even now. Just a great little fan, honestly, for a modern fan. Good grief, I'm at 20 minutes already. <laughs> All right, so Encon Petite Hugger. Slightly different from the heritage heritages. <laughs> the housing on the top's a little wider, as you can see. This is like the original 30 inch hugger as far as I know. It performs well, I got it with another fan. Um, I bought this because it was cheaper to buy two fans versus the one. And uh, this actually is performing really well and it, it's actually surprisingly quiet for an Encon. Still has the globe buzz, but don't they all? All right, Northman 42 inch spinner. I just filmed this one, so. I've already kind of talked about it, as well as the other one, the yeah, Encon. I think this one probably had an OEM of Encon. Not 100% sure, though. Or whoever made Encon's fans, I'm not sure if it was them or not. Regardless, it's a rather pretty fan. For I like this br the polished brass on the sp this type of spinner motor. And it performs pretty well for a cheap spinner. Plus, it looks good with the Grayton having these two style spinners from roughly the same era. This one's from 2001. I can't remember the date on that. All right, second to last fan. The other fan that's been hanging for a long time. Fasco Charleston. This one's a 42 inch one, so one of the more rare forgotten ones. I believe this is a third gen or second gen, a third gen, sorry. I'm terrible with that. I got two of these for free, which was amazing. I got a two Fascos for free. I got this Charleston, and down here in this pile, I have the Vanity Fair. The flywheel is completely busted still. I still haven't found a way to fix it, or I think there's someone who actually makes these, but makes fly replacement flywheels, so I gotta figure out who that is. I wanna get that Vanity Fair hanging. So they both came on those really long down, these really long down rods, and I had this one cut so I could use it more normally. Very, very slow, low speed. Very nice, though. And then, last but not least, the smallest fan of the display, the little Adamberg Renessa from India. This one runs off 220 volts. That's why I have this power converter here. That's the light kit, by the way. <laughs> I bought this one because it was a brand new fan at the time, and I was curious enough to try it and found a way to ship it internationally and bring it here. I believe it's six speeds. If I turn, okay. Yeah, if I turn the light off, it will indicate what speed it's on with the six LEDs, so it's kind of cool. And it's just kind of novel that they allow you to turn on all six of them as a light kit. All right, so that should be everything running on low. I mean, it better, it took me 24 minutes to do so. So I'll let you take a good look at all of it. Believe me, this never gets old. <laughs> Slowest low speed? Oh, it's close with the Charleston in the second century. I want to say the second century is the slowest. The fastest is probably the original. It's surprisingly close to the little Adamberg there. All right, so let's put these all on medium. I'm just gonna leave the original as it is because it's two speed. So if medium for this control is about here-ish. So we'll let those get up to speed. Medium. I was really trying to diver diversify the fans I had hanging here, but I ended up with a lot of 90s fans, I think. <laughs> this is a little loosey-goosey. There's no set screws, and there's nowhere to put set screws, so I doubt the, uh, the uh, down rod is the original one. Right, the red light comes on for medium. 
So since these are four speed, we'll sh shoot these up to three real quick and then I'll move them over to two. While they get up to speed, I'm gonna go do the other fans. That's two speed, so that's already technically medium. <laughs> that's about medium-ish. All right, um, medium. Yeah, this is the hard part. Just getting everything up to speed on <laughs> and just remembering to go through it all. I don't know if that, that's probably not original. The last owner probably added that. Fits it surprisingly well though, so I wanna keep it on there. Medium, this time I got it right. <laughs> Also, I promise I'm not a hoarder. This garage is just a mess right now. And because it's winter, we haven't had a chance to, to uh, clean it out. But uh, eventually it'll be a little night, night neater in here. Ugh. All right, um, yeah. This thing really picks up speed once it goes off low. <laughs> Also, I may have to do this one first because I just remember the fans around it are so powerful. They actually slow this one down. All right, Casablanca, medium. <laughs> I have to remind myself, Casablanca has to be low, medium, high with the rest of them being high, medium, low. All right. That, uh, noise you're hearing is the Kmart fan rocking back and forth. Alright, um, the Atomberg, so I'm going to turn off that real quick. It's two. Three. There we go. This one's definitely the fastest. <laughs> All right, um, I'll go turn up those Caribbean, that Caribbean breeze and the Fanimation. Medium, a lot of these fans really pick up speed. <laughs> yeah, the Delta is still the slowest on medium, even with the four speed fans. Two, two. Yeah, it's just squeaking. All right, now uh, I do want to point out I never run all these fans together, except outside, like outside this video, I never run all of them together. At most, I run three of them, <laughs> only because I don't want them going at high speed all together at the same time because that could start to uh, cause some issues, shall we say. Okay, so let's do it, high speed. Move these bad boys up to high. Fanimation's really slow until you turn it on high, then it really starts picking up. Caribbean Breeze, as you well know, is a monster. <laughs> All right, um, yep, that's the fan. All right, this little guy's on high. Going on half an hour, geez. This one's on high. All right. This thing will start to pick up speed, don't you worry. Get out of this spot real quick. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nothing's collided with it and anything else, so, so far so good. <laughs> no. Okay. It's a little slow than, than I remembered. I think I'm just crazy. All right. Lara Lynn. Battery. Turn these industrials up to high. Little Dayton flies. And it moves a good amount of air. 
Actually, it moves a great amount. You can see these fans are all kind of fighting each other right now. All right, um, golden fan, princess. can hear the wind noise. You. Yeah, this is where things start getting sketchy. <laughs> Dolce makes some popping for some reason. I'm not sure why. yellow blade sticks out like a sore thumb. Put that on high. You've already seen it on high. Whoops. Did I just turn that off? Oh, I must have missed medium. Ah, whatever. It's identical to these two. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Alright, so... Can't remember if I did this one yet. I did not. Okay, good thing I did it. All right, that's a minuet on high. Grayton. And more Hampton Bay's hanging than I intended. That is a strong breeze. Woo. Pushing fan around. All right, high on this thing. See how, watch how bad this wobbles. Funny enough, some of these fans actually smooth out on high with the other fans blowing against them. This one makes it squeaking, that's always fun. Second century is fine, the ATA6 is actually doing fine. All right, um, you, Basco. It's kind of noisy over here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm sure the, I hope there's no wind noise on camera either. <laughs> Because I'm getting a strong breeze from these three fans. Oh my gosh, look at the Caribbean breeze. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't do that. Look how crazy that one goes. And that one doesn't wobble. All right, speed four, five, six, which is boost. <laughs> this one's easily the loudest. All right, that's everything running on high. Crimity. Uh, I was hoping to do this when it was light out because it's going to be very dark when I do spin down. All right, well, that's everything running on high. It is quite noisy. The can arm is probably the scariest because it's the biggest fan here as well as the lowest hanging. <laughs> the Ascension is only a 54 inch fan. What was that noise? All right, you know what? I heard a funny sounding noise. I think it's time for spin down. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Ugh. Oh man, okay. <laughs> oh, you can kind of see all right. You know what I was worried about? Okay, so <laughs> I have no idea what will be first. Actually, yes, I do. It's going to be the original. Oh, no, wait. No, the Adam Bird first. Okay, the original. We'll watch this section of the display. This is where most of them are at. I'll update you with these other fans as we go. Okay, next is the little Encon Princess. I would expect him more out of that. That was one of the only new in-box Encons. The golden fan, that's no surprise. The bearings are shot on that as well. These are all doing great. Um, the little white heritage, the Encon. Petite, the brass heritage. Yeah, I see the rainbow one is winning of the three of them. Um, anything over here? Oh yeah, the Metairie just stopped. The Allen and Roth fan is about to stop. Oh, the Fasco stopped. Yep, Fasco, Allen and Roth. The, the Rainbow Hugger, Kmart Spinner, Kmart Encon thing, Second Century after the Minuet, the, the Flintstone fan kind of in the same ballpark. Sorry, I wasn't watching that one. Oh, 1886, 
Delta two. All right. Um, Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Spinners are winning over here. That's kind of funny. <laughs> two huggers, two spinners, four industrials. Who's going to come out on top? Well, not huggers. The CEC stopped and the Kodak just stopped, <laughs> as well as the Grayton. Uh, well, <laughs> industrials win. Uh, the Northman's still going. Oh, the Dayton stopped. Okay. And the, Mo the Caribbean Breeze stopped. How about that? The Northman is still going. I want to point out that is also the newest fan on the display. I haven't had it running very long. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Oh, golly. Now, I just got to wait another few minutes for the can arm to finally stop. Yeah, after this video, you can say goodbye to that can arm for now. <laughs> like I said in, the, in this video I made of it, I have to take it down because it hangs too low. Plus, I miss having my gold line. I'm going to bring back the little gold line. For reference, the mini gold was also the winner of last time's spin down, if I'm correct. I think she, yeah, I think it was. Usually when I run the fans myself, usually that's how it won. Usually that's how it works. And time-wise, the can arm beats the mini gold. So, yeah. This actually beats uh, most of my silver lines and gets into platinum line territory with spin down time. Yeah, Banville's kind of has spin down neatly sewn up. <laughs> Not the Palco silver line, I will say that. And that's the Fanimation stopped, so that means the can arm is the winner. No surprise there. <laughs> Time-wise, this thing's got another two minutes into it. So while that's spinning down, I'm actually going to turn this off. See, here's the mini gold right here, ready to go home. Um, actually, no, I need to leave that on. Time for zero to high. All right, so we'll do this section first. Wow, I can get all the fans in shot. That's nice. Can arm still spinning. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to start turning these off as I go while we wait for that can arm. Yeah, this, it's crazy how this started because I'm literally like, what if I just hung a bunch of my fans in my garage? And it kind of just, one thing led to another. And eventually I now have a garage ceiling covered in 27 different ceiling fans. I should also mention, these usually stay unplugged when I'm not filming that too. So it's not like they just stay all plugged in, just for safety reasons. That light is really annoying. Can arms still going. All right, here's the rest. Here's the back set of fans. That was kind of cool seeing the lights of that one. Uh, okay, yeah, the Attenberg will go. That Lady Delta is very squeaky. That's that's the next fan to come down because that is a complete redneck fan. So, oh, looks like they helped stop that. So we'll do zero to high of these last four fans. <laughs> See what I mean? Look at the second century going backwards already. All right, perfect. We'll start killing all these and wrapping this up. All right, so uh, yeah. So, uh, like I said, I know this took a long time to make. I didn't mean for it to take so long, but I've said many times before, I've t I work over 40 hours weekly. So I'm usually pretty drained after work. I usually get out at five o'clock and by then I am just, I am just destroyed. So this took way longer than it should have, but at the same time, I have a life to live. <laughs> So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this because I wanted to put up enough fans to be different from my last video. 
That way you guys have something to look forward to. Not just seeing the same fans over and over. I forget, this keeps speeding up and slowing down. It's really annoying. Turn that off. Yeah, the LEDs are so funny. They're very novel. And that is everything. So yes, so hopefully the next one won't be too far away. It'll be a few months, but hopefully this one being, oh my gosh, 40 minutes long, this will hopefully tide you guys over until then. So thank you all, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for the subscriptions. The 2000 subscriber milestone was fantastic. And um, yeah, thanks for enabling me to do this and giving me a reason to do it. You're all awesome, and I love all of you. So, um, something else I needed to say, but yeah, I think I got it. So anyway, thank you for all for watching. Have a great day.